coming to you from the inside of the tundra on my morning commute because why not multitask when you have an iPhone mount? All right, so there was a couple things I wanted to talk about. One is some things I learned on this past go around getting stuck. Four high, keep traction on. Do not, I will not take traction control off anymore when it's in four high. I will not press that button that says traction off to the left of the hazard, ever. In four low, when you engage the locker, it automatically turns off. So. I don't ever need to press that button. In four high, after I was pulled out, I just threw it in mud mode on the multi-terrain select and it was point and shoot. Honestly, I really don't know if I would have gotten stuck if I had traction control still on. Now, at that, in 4i, now at that point when I got stuck, I had actually already selected, now this is the second point, so that's the first point. The second point, when I had gotten stuck, I had actually selected four low and had pressed the button for the rear locker, but I did not have enough runway for either to engage. So that left me in a predicament. The vehicle wasn't really in a specific setting. The traction was off, but it was still in four high and no rear locker. So of course that rear left tire started spinning and spinning and spinning. And then I got deeper and deeper until my rear diff kinda was sitting into that pumpkin was sitting into the ground and once that happened it was it was just extremely difficult now could I have gotten the go treads out and dug with my shovel and all that I could have but it was around 10 40 a.m. and I looked on my phone and I knew it was a three-hour walk to get to the city center the town center and I said, you know, by the time I get to the town, if I waste time and I actually don't get any results from it, then I can't get that time back. Let me just get there because chances are if I'm sinking down to my knees behind my left rear tire, chances are this thing is gonna be a bad situation and I just didn't know if I could get back out because I had gone through a lot of obstacles on the way to this one and then okay let's say because a re reverse was not a possibility because the area behind the truck was just way too deep I think going into it kind of made it worse and then forward is unknown. I had no idea what was forward. So if I did a recovery forward, and dug out in front of the vehicle, which wasn't as deep actually, and it was more hard packed, I probably could have got it out. If I had the traction control on, etc., which I guess I could have turned back on. In hindsight, like what's pressing a button while you're in the vehicle? Why, why couldn't I do that? should have done that <laughs> should have done that should have pressed the traction control button on while it was stuck at least just to see what's going on but anyway I did try the crawl control and that may have turned it back on may not have but the most important thing is on the way back out I didn't have time to think I just had it in mud mode and I had it in four high and I was going and I felt that traction control break the spinning wheel multiple times and slingshot this truck out of an obstacle. 
I got slingshotted out of multiple areas that I that were kind of hairy. Now, nothing was really deep, but I could feel that the traction control was my friend in that situation. The vehicle started just becoming like, it felt like a thoroughbred. It was just boom, 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 boom slingshotting through. Like, in it, the reason I use the word slingshot is because you press the accelerator and then all of a sudden that turbo kicks in <laughs> and boom you get this push and you're out <laughs> uh, that traction control guys the traction control is good uh, I'm not going to be turning it off anymore unless the rear lockers on and it automatically turns it off okay VSC it'll turn off when you go into multi-terrain select but the traction control will stay on that's what I feel like I really need to break that wheel that's spinning. So I'm not going to reinvent the wheel anymore. I'm not going to take traction off. I had read some comments saying, oh, in mud, you need to take traction off and just spin the tires and all that. And I, and I think that's if all four tires are in the mud. But in this case, my right side was on hard packed ground and I needed that torque to be distributed to that right side and with the traction off in four high where you can't engage a rear locker you can't engage a rear locker in four high and traction's off of course open rear diff the torque is going to go to the wheel that has the least traction same with the front front's an open diff and if you take traction control off then what are you doing nothing so that's pretty much how I got stuck. Now the deep mud, it was deep. Uh, what can I say? It was deep and it was soft, but I had gotten through mud earlier and on the way back out with traction control on. So I just wanted to cover this topic because it's very important to the uh, off-road capability of this truck. It's very important that there is not a, an altered perception of what this thing can really do based on me not using it right, right? I think you all know I'm a novice um, at this specific thing and I am just out here learning and I feel like it's my responsibility now that I have learned um, to relate what I have learned just in case there's one or two people that... Um, that could benefit now or they just want to know how the truck would do now will I go test this again in the same spot never I'm not going back to that road ever again in my life that was enough once was enough um, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that there'll be more muddy trails in my future um, but again if I'm in four high I'm leaving traction on and next time, if I want to try my rear locker, I'm going to make sure that I can back up and I have a, a long enough runway to back up to be able to, to engage it. Because you need to have some revolutions in your tires for that locker to grip. Uh, I don't know why, but that's how it works and if that's how it works on every single vehicle that has an e-locker then that's what I need to make sure that I give it I need to give the vehicle some runway to engage the lockers and between 4 high and 4 low anyways today I'm going to be dropping the vehicle off to get the front grill surround wrap and on the 15th, I'm taking it to a shop locally to see what they can do as far as a front winch mount. I think many people are aware of this, the name of this shop. It's called Southern Style Off-Road and it's in uh, Baton Rouge 
and we're gonna go there and see. I already contacted them. They said just bring it on by whenever we're open, and that's like the only time that I'm able to be there because I work full time. So the hours are 8 a.m. to 4:30 p.m., and it's about an hour from me. So I, I kind of had to take like a half day off. But we're, we're getting there. Valentine's weekend, we're going to be going to Asheville, North Carolina, to the um, Blue Ridge Mountain area. So I don't want to make it too much about the truck, but we'll definitely go somewhere with the truck. Yeah, it's not going to be crazy, but we'll we'll do something there's plenty of mountains there I want to just get on top of the ridge line so that's next weekend so in between getting the front grill wrap and getting the front bumper we're gonna take take the tundra out a little bit into the wild once more all right guys if you watch this long you're a trooper it's just me and the camera and the rear seat folded up I stay with this rear seat folded up because it helps me with utility. But when we have friends visiting or anybody picking anybody up from the airport, etc., of course we fold it down and we can transport people. But I like that rear seat up because I can just throw stuff that I don't want to mess my seats up. And I've put my floor mats the carpet floor mats there on top of my recovery gear so it's like a whole different you know surface <laughs> it's pretty cool but then I have my all-weather mats installed all right guys thank you so much and a lot of great cool stuff to come adios